Hey everybody, it's Drew from Sherwood Ford here. Today is Technology Tuesday, so we're going to be talking about Ford's Lane Keep system. Um, with Ford's Lane Keep system, there's two parts um, to the system. There's Lane Keep Alert and there's Lane Keep Aid. As you can imagine, Lane Keep Alert is just going to, going to alert you um, when your vehicle is crossing a line on the road. Um, vehicle A or Lane Keep Aid is going to actually provide a small amount of steering. Um, so today we're going to demonstrate the unit. We're going to show you how to turn it on, how to change the settings, and uh, and hope that you can make the best use of it. Um, so right now we're in a 2017 uh, Edge Sport. Um, Lane Keep systems are available on the uh, the Fusion, the Taurus. Mm -hmm. The Escape, the Edge, the Explorer, the F-150, and with Lane Keep Alert only is the Super Duties. Um, so today we're in a uh, 17 Edge Sport. It's got equipped with all the Lane Keep systems. Um, so I'm gonna first off show you um, how to change the settings in the, uh, the instrumentation cluster here. Um, so on the left side of your screen here, if we go over to the settings, we are going to go down to Drive assist. One second. <laughs> here we go. I hope my camera's not upside down. <laughs> so we're gonna go to driver assist here, and there are many different options here. We're gonna go to uh, we're gonna go down to lane keep system. Uh, from here, you can choose the mode and the intensity. So we're gonna click into mode. Right now, it's set to alert only. You can also have aid only. Well, we're going to click on both so that we get both features working for us here. The next part is that we're going to we're going to choose the intensity. So this is um, there's going to be a small vibration in the steering wheel to alert you that you have um, crossed over a line. Um, so right now, standard, it's going to be set to normal. We're going to turn that up to high just here so that we can uh, help feel what's going on. Um, so I'm going to click back over here. I'm gonna go back to just our normal um, driving settings here. The next part of the equation is to actually turn the system on. It's not always turned on, you do have to turn it on. Um, so over on the edge, it's on the left side here, your signal indicator. Mm -hmm. It is on the very end of that, you're just gonna push that down. And in your driving display here, you're gonna see there's a little vehicle with the two lines. So those lines are gray right now. Um, that's showing that the system is not registering any lines. We're just parked off to the side of the road here. Um, a, a couple things that will cause the system not to work. Um, so the system works with a camera that's placed behind your rear view mirror. So if your windshield is damaged, if there's snow blocking the camera, those are gonna be things that are gonna, they're not gonna let the system work properly. Um, if the road is covered in snow, if the road is too wet, if the lines aren't painted clearly, those are gonna all be things that are gonna cause the system to not work to its full effect. Um, so right now, oh, I guess the other side of it is the system only does work when you are above 64 kilometers an hour. Um, so it's, it's more of a, a highway, a freeway. Um, that's when you're really gonna wanna use this system. Um, so let's, let's get right to it. We're gonna go for a little drive here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you how uh, how the system will will keep us in check, keep us driving in a straight line. Okay, let's go. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna pull up here onto the highway. Perfect, we got a nice opening here. All right, so as I pass 64 kilometers an hour, you can see that the lines um, on, the, on the left of the display there have turned green. So that means that the camera is registering uh, the lines. Um, and uh, just to give you an example here, if I kind of start to wander a bit to the left, to the right, sorry, it's going to turn. It's going to turn uh, yellow, and that is indicating that the system has made an aid adjustment. 
since we've got both uh, features turned on. If we only had alert turned on, it's gonna turn yellow and it's just gonna give us that vibration in the steering wheel. So again, if I move over to the right here just a little bit, it's actually providing a small amount of steering torque back. That was not me turning the vehicle back into the center lane. That was the vehicle uh, moving itself. So once we get past this little uh, road here, I'm gonna see if I can show you that a little more clearly. So right here, we've got uh, some lines. So I'm gonna not really touch the steering wheel. We're going over, and as you can see, it's bringing the vehicle back to the center lane. If I go over to the left side here now, it's gonna steer me back in. Now the system also just gave me alert saying it's not registering my hands are on the wheel and that I should put my hands back on the wheel. Um, that can happen if, if you take your hands off the wheel but also if you're using a very light steering grip. Um, so it wants you to make sure that you've got your hands on the wheel, that you're in full control of the vehicle. Um, so when you've got both systems on, um, the system works in a bit of a two-part scenario. So if I just go over to the side of the road here, it's gonna provide some aid, it's gonna steer me back in. If I go way over, the system is now going to give me that alert and it's gonna vibrate the steering wheel there and give me an extra warning that I've, I've moved too far over and that I really need to wake up. Um, the system will also give you some warnings. Um, if you are driving and it notices that you are you're swerving it's it's noticing a lot of lane adjustments it's gonna tell you that you might be a little bit drowsy maybe you should take a sleep maybe you should pull over see if you can get a rest take a coffee um, wants you to be safe so as you're driving normally we've got green lights here so we're acting all normal take the exit. we're gonna take this exit here and the other side, uh, a couple quick mentions on the system. Um, whenever you use your steering, in, your sorry, your signal indicators, that is going to override the system because it knows that you're making a lane change. If you were to make an evasive steering maneuver, say that you were avoiding an accident, it is going to also recognize that as an evasive steering uh, steering maneuver, where the system is not going to try to correct that motion. Um, so, um, uh, very quick braking, uh, very quick acceleration, or a very quick steering maneuver, it's going to register that as um, overriding the system, um, assuming that you're meaning to do that. So we're going to get back onto the highway here. I hope that explained Ford's lane keep system well enough for you. If you've got any questions, feel free to give us a call at the dealership, 780-449-3673. Or you can also get us online, www.sherwoodford.ca. Happy Technology Tuesday, everybody. Drive safe. Drive safe.